so this is pretty exciting, y'all. This is pretty exciting. All right, girl, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Look at the ice deal. Yeah, look at the ice. Look at the ice. But y'all, y'all, this may be or should be the last day of this. It was uh, 15 this morning, but within a few hours, we're above freezing. We're like 34, 35. And apparently, this is over. This this freeze is over. And y'all, it was a, it was a rough one. Now, it was a rough one. When a girl, hmm? Tell him, tell him it was a rough one. <laughs> Not for you though. It didn't phase you in the least, did it? No, it didn't phase Holly in the least. Whew. But looks like we're gonna get. I don't know. On up, on up in the in the 40s today and they're talking about 70 70 i didn't i almost stuttered 70 degrees by saturday so me and brooke are thinking me and brooke are thinking with the help of miss holly here about moving the rhode island reds out into the pastures good morning scott hey tina turner What's up, guys? It's warming up. Y'all gonna be back to normal <laughs> before too long. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ooh. You Here think you. you think today would be a good day to move to Rhode Island Reds? Definitely. That's what I'm thinking. I think this cold mess is over. And I, I, so. I mean, I guess never say never. Since this is the first time we've ever seen it this cold before in our life. And I'm almost 48, so I'm getting close to half a century. And I don't foresee us seeing another one like this. Um, But uh, I'm thinking about moving those Rhode Island Reds. Redneck is too. Redneck! <laughs> oh, Redneck. Holly, you gonna help? Of course she's gonna help. Come here, girl. Hey, Holly. Come here. <laughs> yeah. You are a good girl. Ooh. Yes, you are. She's a mess. You are a good girl. I know she's ready. She'll love it. Oh, I'm good. ready, too. What's the alarm system fussing at over there? Well, I was able to fill up all their swimming pools. Oh, that's what they're fussing at. <laughs> oh, everybody doing okay? Good. Including me. Including you. Sunshine. I know it. Including this Egyptian goose over here. <laughs> All right, Holly, let's see what we got to do. We got to go get our, uh, Greg, what's up, buddy? We got to go get our, um, our fencing. And for some of those that don't know, let me give you a little quick recap. Uh, Brooke got her a batch. It's 12, but two of them are boys of Rhode Island Reds. And these will be the egg layers, the official cog hill farm egg layers right so they'll provide just just lovely beautiful and healthy eggs for our family and farm but our plan is is to move the rhode island reds out into the pastures and i'm thinking about the garden area too they are in the cog county school bus right here which is a utility trailer that my dad had uh he used to, he owns electrical business but he's just slowing down and downsizing a lot and that's where we actually got all three of these trailers from um because yeah, as you guys know we were in a bit of a fix and we had to move off our old farm pretty quickly way faster than we anticipated so we got these utility trailers but we left the wheels on this one because we want it to be portable we want to move this chicken coop here around in different spots spots of the pastures and the garden area and that way the chickens can be on fresh ground and we're going to put a electric netting around it like we got joe in and moody in in top uh and that way they'll stay in their area plus that'll keep predators out because it will be electrified and it's four foot tall so that's our plan put this bus out into the pastures let the rhode island reds out 
and we'll move it when it's time to be moved which i don't know yet we'll just have to wait and see guys it may be a week it may be two weeks it may be every three days we don't know good morning dolly parton how you doing girl but that is our plan and we're gonna go with it today y'all we are gonna roll with it y'all look at that chicken water that's what came out of it right there look at that <laughs> look at them oh my gracious i'm glad this is over with holly peachy what's up girl peachy says she survived this cold front with a massive bed she built in her house over there yeah it is a big one too she would have that hay thrown up all over and uh, i can't i can't blame you girl i can't blame you hey guys today's the last day of this brutal cold weather it's gonna be on the up from here on out <laughs> we got the uh the hitch on don't we tuck tuck and i got my shadow with me and we're ready to roll so you think leave them in there i do okay i Come think in. leave them in there okay we'll take their water out okay and um you know we got those jacks those Stabilizer jacks. Yeah, under so we gotta we gotta undo those yeah, first. Right. Reckon what the the other birds are gonna think when they see the bus leaving. I don't know what they're gonna think. Think they're gonna <laughs> run and think they're missing the ride? Missing the bus. I'm missing the bus. <laughs> yeah. Well thankfully they've been sleeping in the other coop. Right. So we don't have to worry about that. And I know these Rhode Island Reds are happy to be outside. They're gonna have lots more room now. Do you think that they'll immediately go out? Or you think it's gonna take them a little bit? I think they're gonna come on out. Do you really? Yeah, yeah I think uh, one of them's gonna go and they're all gonna go. That's what I think. Well, I beg to differ. I don't <laughs> think they're coming out today. <laughs> you don't? I don't. I think they're gonna come out. I think the only way they'll come out is if we make them, and I don't want to do that. I want them to. Whoa, Tucker! Tucker flipped over. <laughs> I want them to go out on their own. Okay, let's get this opened up. I see y'all enjoying some carrots this morning. I do. Tucker's gonna ride with you. Yeah. She wants to drive, but I won't let her. <laughs> I wouldn't let her drive either. Look at her. She don't have a driver's license. Hello. Oh my gracious. I gotta get it hooked up first to the tractor. And see, it's got a little pin that slips down. And so the tractor bucket will come up with this, and that won't be an issue. Once Brooke gets it, uh, once we get it hooked in, I want to take, why am I going to take these back jacks off? Let's see what it looks like on the inside first though. Okay, y'all are good. I'm right, going to get y'all water out of here. Alright there, girls and two boys fixing to take y'all on over to the garden. You know what we didn't think about? What? Holly probably has never heard a tractor. It didn't phase her. It didn't. <laughs> Mildred said speak to her. Hey, Miss Mildred. She's scoping Holly out. Fifi's in heat, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness Tilp is not a full Well he's a weather Which means he has been fixed Thank goodness Alright I need to get those back jacks off Before you lift up For sure Because it may break something back there I'm thinking like um, Yeah Yeah let me get the back jacks off first Mine Mine's going right up Yeah mine's getting loose so Mine's going okay. right Let's give it a go. All right. Can you I'm see? In. No, I can't see. I think I'm just going to come forward. You look like you're about right. Come on, Holly.
You ready, Holly? Holly says she's gonna observe this behind the fence. Could be some danger in this. Last time when we brought it in here, there wasn't nothing in here. And we're able to swing all the way around and pull it right here. This time we're not so lucky. But it should be able to turn pretty easy, I'm thinking. Yeah. Getting it turned is going to be an issue. All right, we're getting it. I don't know about her swinging out and going back out that gate, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. We got it turned, that's for sure. It's gonna be tight. Really, really tight. Don't want to get it stuck in here either. That's the other thing. It's a lot easier getting it in there than it is going to be getting it out. I mean, this is going to be close, y'all. Like, razor thin close. Oh my gosh. Now, here's the, here's the, here is the other thing is how, where do we go from here? I don't know if we want to go down that hill. Um, geez. We're pushing it forward now. And we may have to get it up here a little bit this way and then swing it back around. It's gonna be soft. This dirt's gonna be soft here. But man, you're good. Man, you're good. We may not be able to get it in the garden, how hard it was to get out of that, uh, get out of the, uh, that pasture. It may be too difficult. We'll stop up here and see. It's a little, little intense, a little anxious. <laughs> uh, moving around in the pasture is not going to be that bad. Just, uh, Moving it out here. This is soft dirt. Don't have much room. We're going forward instead of backwards. That, that, that's uh, a little nerve wracking. Plus you can see we're dipping down in this dirt here. Hopefully we don't get stuck. Everything's good. We're fixing to be out of the... Uh... <laughs> Brooke's so light. <laughs> She's so light that... Uh... The, the little kill switch on the tractor seat if she leans up just a little bit <laughs> initiate and cause the tractor to cut off <laughs> oh me all right so let's see here do we want to go out there with it or do we want to come in here with it that's the uh hundred dollar question all right so we just discussed it and we decided to put it in the garden um, if we see this not going to work out, we got plenty of room to turn around. But for now, we're going to go ahead and put it in the garden. That's our plan. What you think, Holly? What you think, baby? Going to get in here? Huh? We going to get it in here? Y'all remember where we had the flowers planted in the flower farm area? That's the area that I'm wanting to put it in. And the water's right there, power's right there, it's all right there. So that would be a good, good test plot for us because we got utilities there and it will uh, fertilize, the, uh, fertilize that spot for us. 
Then maybe come spring or summer, we could do something in it. You good? I'm looking at it though. Okay. Come on, Holly. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. We're good. We're good. We're good. I can see this side, but I can't You're good. You're good. You're clear. You're good. You're good. I was going to move our auger there, but we didn't. We're good. All right, here we go. Got it parked. Now we gotta go get our stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? What? So we went through the idea of the Cog County school bus, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that anymore. What you like? Flower power. Flower power? Yes. We can change it up. We can. Bust some flowers out the side of it. Hey, you know what we ought to do? Let Piper and me crawl paint it. We need to paint it like one of those old VW vans back from the Woodstock That's what areas. I'm talking about. Big flowers in all different colors. That's what I'm talking about. I think we would I think, really... I think so, too. I think so, too. Hey, you know, if we cut, if we did paint it like that, uh -huh. to help with aerial predators, uh -huh. is run our flagging off of it. Yeah. Well, we know. could... We could we could paint something on the top to yeah. deter them. We could paint you know, a, a big X. What about like a, a leopard? <laughs> what do you think, Holly? An emu would be more intimidating. <laughs> paint an emu? Well, I think this is going to work out perfectly. Yeah, me too. They're going to enjoy their ground to till, and we're going to enjoy fresh eggs. Yes, and I'm going to enjoy them tilling up my ground for I me. know it. And fertilizing it. Exactly. All at the same time. And we can move this anytime we get ready to. Yeah, and I think we can get out of here pretty easy. Oh, yeah. The, the problem was it was in a tight yeah. up next to the fence. Right. I mean, we had that much space up next yeah. to the fence. And then the gate was on the other side, so. I think we're good. I'm loving the, the flower power. I, me too. Just flowers. Just colorful flowers. All we need to do is go to... The hardware stores and just get their paints that people didn't pick up. Mm -hmm. All different colors. And Bright, just start vibrant colors. Just start painting flowers and whatever. It don't matter. It can be chickens. It just be all tied together. I got an idea in my head already. We can have it. Good deal. Awesome. Five County School no more. Getting rid of the school bus. That's right. Going right. to be flower power. We're not getting rid of it. No, we're not getting rid of it. No. <laughs> I love this bus. Yeah, it's been we a great can too. even paint the tires and make the tires look like the flowers. We can. How about it, Holly? Holly thinks that's a wonderful idea. Don't you, girl? I'm gonna yeah. Get up in here and see if everybody's okay. Okay. I might not be able to get back down, but I'm gonna get up here. That's pretty good for old Gally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, other way. You're going the wrong way. Well. And the feeder didn't jump over. Didn't, good. I told you he was a good driver. That's what it was. That. He was a good driver. I'm a good driver in a car. It uh, when you're in that soft dirt, I thought it was gonna get stuck for a minute, but we're not gonna get stuck. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. That was at least of my concern. Look, you haven't been stuck since you've been on the new property. <laughs> oh, well, let's go get the other stuff, Holly. Oh, Come you're on. Just gonna leave me up here, huh? No, girl, I ain't gonna <laughs> leave you up there. Come on. Come on. Don't fall. <laughs> oh, I had them pliers in my pocket. <laughs> you okay? I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna get it level and uh, get it secure. We can take the tractor off. Then we're gonna put the bucket back on the tractor so we can bring the stairs over here. We can bring their feet over here. And we gotta go get the poultry netting, the electric poultry netting, and the charger.
these stabilizer jacks hold 5,000 pounds each. She likes to play tug of war with the I weed. I see axle. that. You ought to see in the fruit work. Does it look level to you? Oh, goodness. I guess the front may be a tad high, but... Let's see what the water level says. Okay. <laughs> How about that? That'll work. I didn't bring the level with me. Hey, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Good pretty deal. Pretty good. Good deal. Those things, 5,000 pounds each. I think we're good. I think we're good. Well, they've held up to this point. Yeah, <laughs> held up to this point. <laughs> you see them chickens? <laughs> huh? You see them chickens over there? Oh my gracious. They're scratching. I might be wrong. They might come on out. Because they're right here at the door. Yeah. All right, look, look, look at them through the... Plastic. I see him. <laughs> Let me out. All right, I'm going to snug them all up here since we tightened everything up. That one's good. Here we go. We're good. I think we're good. Okay. All right, so we're going to go get the fence. And uh, let these guys out. So this is pretty exciting, y'all. This is pretty exciting. I am super curious to see what these guys are going to do <laughs> when we let them out. Because they haven't been out yet. They have not been on ground yet. This is the Premier One, 164 foot, four foot tall, the 48 inch poultry netting. That is the exact part number that we got right there. If any of you guys are interested in this, you guys seen us use this stuff before? I mean, it's holding Moody in. Uh, love it. It's holding Joe in. We used it with chickens before in years past, and. It's a, it's a great product. It really is. I will put a link to Premier One down below. Um, I'm not sponsored by them in this video or anything like that. It's just a, a good product. Mama's got the stairs. All right. You gonna help me get them off? Going on. Uh -huh. They're not as treated as they were. You know what I mean? They're starting to ride a little bit, so they're not so heavy. Oh, okay. I gotta get the feed over there. I'm coming. You need an extra hand. I'm coming. Hold it right here and I'll tilt it back. That's right. Hold it with good help. Neuter is gonna put a hoof on it. Thanks, Mildred. <laughs> Thanks, Mildred. She decided to uh, lay in the shade and take her a little quick nap. <laughs> so you think they're immediately going to come out? I think they're going to come on out. 
Hmm, pushes in. But their food is in there, so maybe they won't. <laughs> what? I see them. I see them looking. What are they looking up at? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Uh -oh. That's she, the brave one there. She ain't is it? brave. Oh, too soon. Oh, oh gotta go. Here's scary. Hey, girls. They can shut that other door. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. I had it propped open. I can take it off the hinges. No, I, I think I want to lock them up in, in there. two doors. Okay. And get them used to not sleeping in here uh -huh. because that's where they're gonna lay their be. eggs. Yeah, that so. makes sense. You smart. Yeah, right. We can actually take the roost out if you want to on this side. Yeah, that's that's my plan. So Just leave the nesting boxes in there. Y'all need to come on out. Come on. What if I set one out? Which one you want to lean over and pick up? What's his name? I don't know what his name ought to be. Hey, big man. Uh oh, they're following you. Are they? Yeah. Look. Maybe following him. Maybe. Same down right here. Okay, big man. Don't run back in, okay? Yeah. It's the real world. Wanna try one hen? Yeah, let's get a hen. Wanna well, get Carol. <laughs> Getting Carol. That can be Opie. Opie? Yeah. Okay. Come here, Carol. I don't see Carol. Here you are. You found Carol? I found Carol. It's okay, Carol. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Look at here. Open's out here. Hello, Carol. Yeah. Look at you. Put your neck feathers down. Oh, goodness. Your friends see you out here. They do see you out here, Carol. I better move. Oh, Carol said, so look at this. I got stuff around right here. Everybody. Those are at the feeder. And the other ones are just missing out. And how old are they now? Three months. So come, what about three more months they'll start laying? Mm, should be two. Two months? Two more months. So End of February, 1st of March, I should have eggs. Nice brown yard eggs. Yeah, not, not, not 11 eggs, but an egg. <laughs> Now I got these grounding rods, which for my charger, which is the S20 by Gallagher, um, it says I could use the 18 inch grounding rod and they make one that's three foot. I didn't go that route. These grounding rods are cool because they're for like these portable fencing structures because it's got this T-handle on it and that makes it easier for you to pull it out of the ground. Otherwise, if it's just a straight bar, it's really hard to get them out of the ground. So these T-handle grounding rods are the ticket. All right, it is, it is on. Now the Gallagher S20 has a battery pack in it, but if you just bought it, be sure to hook that battery up because it's not hooked up. And if you store it, I would disconnect the battery as well. That's just me. All right, Holly. We got them, we got them moved. You got your nap in. <laughs> so what else we gotta do, hmm? What else we gotta do? <laughs> oh my gracious, yeah. We'll find something, won't we girl? Yeah, we'll find something. And uh, we're gonna leave the door open. And uh, it'll be getting dark in a, about an hour or so. So anyways, we're just gonna leave the door open and I come back here and check on them later. Oh, you almost fell over. I was loving on her. She almost fell asleep again. She said, it's 
It's hard working on the farm. It is hard working on the farm, and you've been up since six o'clock out here. Yeah. Well, the sun's going down, and me and Holly came to put the chickens up, and nobody else has came out. These two boys and girls are under here, and they're still liking it outside, but it's gonna be dark soon. I think I better go ahead and get these these two up. Yeah, come on. Yo, come on. Yo, come on. Girl. All right, let's get Opie. Come on out, Opie. Keep walking, Opie. Keep walking, Opie. Keep walking, Opie. Keep walking, Opie. There we go. Now we got him. Now we got him. All right, so we got Opie. Go on, buddy. There you go. There you go. We're going to go and shut you guys up for the night. We'll see y'all in the morning. I do plan on putting an automatic chicken door in here. That way we ain't got to come out here. But for now... That's what we gotta do. All right, Holly. Let's cut the fence on. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Thanks, Holly. Yeah.